Claret TV speaking to manager Robbie Simpson following our one-all draw here in Somerset this afternoon. Robbie, first off, just a couple of thoughts on how you thought that game was. Um, we didn't start very well. We started as if we had a long journey down here. Um, it took us 15 minutes to find a bit of rhythm and a bit of intensity. Um, and I thought after that first 15 minutes for the rest of the first half, we were pretty good. I thought we were... Uh, um, we kept the ball well, we had our intensity, we created a few really good chances, One we, ones we should have done, done better with, really. Um, I don't know how he, the keepers kept the one point black range from Ruffy out. Um, and there was one from Jonesy where he probably should have done better. But um, all in all, I was, I was pretty pleased that we weathered the first 15 minutes where we were just finding our, finding our legs and our rhythm. And we played pretty well and we needed to then kick on in the second half. I knew it was going to be difficult. You know, we were against the wind. It was a slight wind, but there was a bit of a wind in that second half. They were shooting towards their, their stand that I know they like to shoot towards in the second half. and um, They do really suck the ball towards that goal. And, and We found it really difficult. We didn't really we didn't turn up in that second half um, until the subs came on, really. We, we were we were poor. We we had no answers really to getting out of our half and having sustained attacks in their half. We didn't. I, I can't think of us having a sustained period in their half like we did in the first half on, on quite a number of occasions. So you got to give credit to them. I thought they they put us under pressure. Um, they kept they, they kept a, a pretty high line which which didn't enable us to, to maybe pass out from the back against that wind as, as we'd have liked. Uh, but we were poor, we have to be we have to find a way. You know, we have to find a way and we and we and we couldn't quite do that until the subs came on. I have to say though, for all their dominance I would say, they never really threatened us. It, it the only time they well the, the most uh, threatening moment was when they let their sub on the pitch and we almost passed it straight to him, which um which, yeah, if they'd have scored, there would have been some uh, conversations had, let's put it that way. But, um, yeah, I thought, this, I thought Mo Betama came on and gave us a physical presence up there and won his headers and allowed us to then, and Freddie's running in behind, allowed us to get some territory. And um, we did have a number of passages, I would say, not sustained periods, but a number of passages where we were able to make passes in their half. And one of them led to the goal. Um, I, thought, I thought it was a really good goal from our perspective. And, and yeah, just unfortunate that uh, we conceded not long after um, the initial shots going, going well wide, but they're not to know and they have to try and try and keep it out and got a touch and it's actually ended up in, in our own net, I think, our own goal. But um, yeah, it's, it's a good sign that we've come here and we know we haven't quite played how we want to, but still almost won the game and, and, and created a number of good chances, chances with that. So. We'll take a point, I think. Yeah, I mean, I think you kind of touched on it there without necessarily directly saying it. We definitely have come in and not looked out of place one bit and we've nullified any sort of attacking threat. And I mean, you've got to look at some of the names that they've got in in their squad. And ultimately, I think starting the game, you've got a striker who was literally a couple of leagues above not very long ago at all. And you look at those sorts of threats and our, our boys have stepped up and have dealt with that. Yeah, I thought it was a good game, actually. I thought... Um I say first half was a really good game of football. I think second half they they went a bit more direct and it caused us problems and then kept us in our half. But I thought first half in particular was a really good game of football. They first fifteen they were definitely the, the better side and then we woke up and I thought we were the better side for for the rest of that first half. But yeah, we, we you know we we want to be one of if not the best team in the league. So um, it doesn't matter where this club have been in the past, they're here now and, and we want to compete and try and be better than them. Yeah, I mean, you spoke about substitutions and obviously we had the early enforced one from Jazzy Barn and Bob going off the field. I know it's probably a bit early to know what's happened with Jazzy, but have we got any sort of indication as to what? Nothing there? No, no idea. Um, no idea, yeah. I need to speak to Aaron, actually, because we had a couple of other of other bodies there obviously Josh has carried on but he's taken a taken a bit of a whack there so um, we'll see how he is and, yeah, game Monday isn't it it's tough for us you know it's um, travelling to Weymouth then a game and then travelling here and then a game and then we travel to Torquay it's we have to give the players a bit of uh, leeway let's let's say on their intensity and their um, 
and their brightness, but we're also going to demand of them, you know, and, and they'll demand of themselves. They, they'll know and they'll want to demand that they're, they've got no excuses of the Saturday, Mondays, the long trips. They don't want the excuses. They don't want me to give them. But I think it's, I think it's, it's worthy of me noting that it's tough, you know, it is, it is tough. They're not just going to be able to turn up and be at 100% um, with the journeys and the schedule. So, like, fair, fair play to them. They, I think everyone can see in the fans here today, like, travelled in numbers. They were, they were amazing. They could see that we needed them. And we almost sent them home unbelievably happy, but I think they've gone home um, reasonably happy. Yeah, it was over 100 um, in attendance in that corner of the field and they were really given something to cheer about. And we talk about Jazzy going off and it was the man who replaced him, Adam Mills, who, who sent them into some sort of a rapture towards the end there. And I mean, he, he's messed up his celebration, so I'll, I'll dig him out a little bit on that. But it was an ult ultimately an end to quite a messy bit of defending from Yeovil, but excellent capitalisation after a great move, as you say, from us. Yeah. yeah. It, yeah, I think their defender will be um, be unhappy, but Mo Betham has put him under pressure to. He's not let him have an easy clearance. You know, even though Mo knows that he's not going to get on the end of Freddie's cross, and Freddie did ever so well to get the cross in, and we made a number of passes before we ended up playing Freddie in behind. Um, Mo realised that he maybe wasn't going to score, but he didn't want to let the defender have a free clearance, and things like that can happen when you're bright like that, when you're wanting to hunt goals and not make it easy for opposition things like that can happen and and well done to Adam Mills for following in you know it would have been easy for him to just stood still and put his hands on his head and go oh it wasn't that close but he didn't he hunted the goal um, so really well done to him and we need to have that same um, well we need to have more of that like people really hunting goals and being brave enough to do so um, but also at our end, we need to be switched on about where the danger is. Um, just that little bit more. I think we've been excellent. We've obviously been tough to score against again today. Um, they didn't carve out many opportunities at all. Um, so I think we can go. I'm really pleased that we've we've taken a point. Um, would have been gutted if we'd have lost, even though we played badly, because we felt like we'd maybe created the better chances. But we're certainly happy with the point, I think. Yeah, I mean, and there was actually a point, I don't know if you kind of had the same angle on it as I did, I thought that Freddie Hockey had won it right there in added time where he's put the ball in the back of the net. Looked like a really, really tight one to me, but just shows, again, that desire and that grit from the team to want to, even though been pegged back, to try and go on and win it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, every game we've drawn this season, we've had a goal disallowed for offside, and the first two... I don't think we're offside. Well, the first one definitely wasn't. The second one's maybe a bit closer, but I think Mo Betema looks onside. So I'll have to have a look back and see whether it's three for three with Freddie. But uh, he thinks he was on, um, but the people who make the decisions didn't. So. Of course, and obviously we're back to Hemel on Monday, back at home again. It's going to be another tough game, and we keep talking about tough games. No game's an easy game, but for now we, we've cemented ourselves as that unbeaten run, and we're going to keep that going. And how now do you prepare yourself? We've not got the time. We said the same sort of thing last week, but how do you prepare? Same as what we did. Same as what we did last week. Players will recover. Um, they got sent a, a mobility video to, to take themselves through tomorrow. And then, and then we'll come Monday and try and make this point look even better than it does now. Well done today, Robbie. Congratulations on the point. It's a shame it wasn't all three, but an excellent, per, an excellent result on the grand scheme of, of everything. And we look forward to seeing you again on Monday. Cheers, Josh. Thank you.